Eku de diasikoi. Hello everyone, welcome to ispeakyorubatu.com. This is your one-stop place for everything Yoruba language. Thank you for learning Yoruba language with I Speak Yoruba 2. Eka bwenyi yomi. Hello beautiful people. This is Anela here as always and you're listening to I speak Yoruba too. I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe. Hmm. This lesson is going to be a build up of the last lesson. So in the last lesson, you learned how to say, I want to, mo fe, mo fe, and how to say you want more of something that you enjoy, which is si, si. All right. So in this lesson, we're going to be using the phrase mofe in various contexts and also in a sample conversation. And I'm really excited because I have someone here today to help me with this lesson. Yes, I have got a guest on today's lesson. <laughs> he also teaches Yoruba and is an amazing Yoruba teacher. He is a founder of Learn Yoruba Easily. You probably are following him on his social media and you probably know him already. <laughs> his name is Ibitayo. Eka Bosori, I speak Yoruba too. I am really happy to have you here with me today. Oh, uh, actually, go. You know me to last one. You know, I'm so uh, happy to be on the program today. Thank you so much for being here. As I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be helping our listeners to say and use the phrase mofe in different ways through sample sentences and conversation. So what do you say? Yeah, that sounds great. Odara. I thought we should look at some commonly used Yoruba verbs. Which yeah. one would you say is very common? Common Yoruba verbs that we use in Yoruba language are verbs like to do to eat, to buy, to go. Yeah. Oh, wow. You are so right. Especially the to eat aspect. I love to yeah. eat. I love my food. Chef <laughs> Eronje, do you like to eat? I love it so much. <laughs> Uh, okay, in the last lesson, I introduced my listeners to some most trilegal street food, such as suya, boliatepa. Oh, I love boli so much. Do you have a favorite? Don't you have a favorite? That is rice and stew. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is really nice. Well, as Yoruba people, we love chili. Chili and Yoruba people are like five and six. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. nice. Okay, then. So let's help our listeners understand how to use these verbs you've mentioned together with I want to in Yoruba. Oh, right. How would I say to do in Yoruba? That is she, she. To do is she. What if I want to say I want to do this and that? How would I say it? Mofe she eleji ati inye. Mo fe she eleyi ati inye. Mo fe she eleyi ati inye. I want to do this and that. Okay, everyone. Do you remember that you learned how to say this and that in lesson nine? So now you can say to your friends, Mo fe she eleyi. I want to do this. Or Mo fe she inye. I want to do that. Or you can as well say, I want to do this and that. So if our listeners happen to be on the street of Lagos with their friends and they want to do something, how will they ask their friends, what do you want to do? They will say, Kini efeshi. Kini efeshi. Kini efeshi. What do you want to do? Eshion, thank you. Everyone, I hope you still remember how to say what in Yoruba. What is kini? Now you can use kini with mofe and then ask your friends the question, kini efeshi, what do you want to do? One thing I would like to mention though, I have explained this before in my previous lesson, but just to remind and refresh your memory. So remember that e represents the honorific pronoun of talking to 
an older person or in a formal setting or when you're talking to a group of people that is when you use a yeah. so you can substitute yeah. it for or when you're talking to your friends or you're talking to someone younger but if you're talking to an acquaintance or another person please 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 make sure you use a and as you notice in all of my lessons i always use a so that you can get used to using the word a okay let's run through the other verbs and help our listeners understand how they can use them with mufe okay that's good odara how do i say to eat jeun je jeun okay yeah. i want to eat mufe jeun mufe jeun mufe jeun what about what do you want to eat kini efe je Kini e fe je. Kini e fe je. What do you want to eat? Everyone, did you notice that Ibitaya said kini e fe je? But we actually said earlier that to eat means jeun. So why did he say kini e fe je instead of kini e fe jeun? Sounds a bit tricky, isn't it? Well, if you really want to understand why <laughs> they are different, please download the ebook. 10 frequently used Yoruba words. It explains in details the difference between jeun and je. The link to download this ebook is in the show notes. All right, shall we continue? How do I say to buy in Yoruba? Uh, well, when it comes to buy, there are like three different ways you can say it, depending on the contents and how you are making use of it. The difference in the usage is actually in the tone mark and in the pronunciation. We have something like ra. Ra, then ra. Okay, let, let me say it again so you follow me, all right? I believe our listeners are following us. Isn't it oh, yes. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, exactly. So that our okay. listeners can repeat after you. Oh, that would be good. So do you want to say that one more time, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ra, ra, ra. Correct, correct, correct. correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know my <laughs> listeners are very fast learning, yeah, yeah, yeah. very brilliant. So I'm sure they will grab that. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so ra, ra, and ra. I understand that this might be a bit tricky for many people, the struggle with the tone map, but don't worry. All you need to do is practice as much as you can, okay? And also, I have a lot of lessons on Yoruba that critical max or tone max on my YouTube channel, and the link to my YouTube channel is in the show notes. So please have a look at it, and I hope it helps you. All right, how do I say I want to buy suya? Mofera suya. Mofera suya. I want to buy suya. Mofera suya. How about what do you want to buy? Kini efera. Kini efera. Kini efera. What do you want to buy? Okay, let's consider one more verb and then we will go into the sample conversations. Is that okay? Odara, that's cool. Okay, how do I say to go? Lo, 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 to go. Yeah. Suppose our listeners have been sightseeing Lagos for a while and now oh, they're just too tired, they want to go home. How do they say to their friends, I want to go home, I'm just too tired? Okay, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but how do I say, I want to go home? Mo fe lo ile. Mo fe lo ile. Mo fe lo ile. I want yeah. to go home. Okay, everyone. So far, you have seen how we can use mo fe, mo fe, I want to, with some common Yoruba verbs. Shall we uh, repeat the verbs to them one more time just to refresh? What is she? To do. To, do. to eat. Ra. To buy. And lo. To go. So with all of this in mind, we will dive into our sample conversation. We will do two sample conversations. <laughs> all right. So shall we do a role play? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'll be person A and you be person B. Okay? Odara. Kile feshe. Mufe lo si oja. Ah. Efe lo si oja. Ben. Kin efe lo she lo ja. Mufe lo ri ore mi kon. Efe lo ri ore mi kon. Ben. 
<laughs> okay, that's a conversation. So shall we go over it again <laughs> with the translation? Would you please right. read out the words? All right. Qui le fait chez? What do you want to do? Mo lo si oja. I want to go to the market. Ah, e fe lo soja. Oh, you want to go to the market? Ben. Yes. Qui le fait chez loja? What do you want to do at the market? Mo fe ri ore mi kan. I want to go see a friend. Do you want to go see a friend? Benny. Yes. So, uh, Eniola, what do you want to do? Ah, give me more What do I want to do? I just want to practice so that our listeners uh, can know how to okay. use Mufe very well. Uh, you can call me Ah, me Mufe Kori. You want to sing? Okay. Yes, Everyone, Ibitaya wants to sing, but not now. Shall we finish our conversation before you go and corny? All right. Yeah. I won't stop you from corny, but do you want us to do the second one before you corny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll be pressing A again, and you'll be pressing B. All right, that's good. Mofera eleyi. Efera eleyi. Beni mofeja eleyi. Efe je eleyi beni kini eleyi e wa ti agbado ni i love e wa na gbado do you like it too ah mo ferun e wa ti agbado i love e wa ta gbado like adalu yes it's called adalu in yoruba <laughs> yes this is my childhood you know oh wow <laughs> okay let's have the translation to it again shall we so can you please read it out right. to me all right so mo fe ra eleyi I want to buy this one. You want to buy this one? Yes, I want to eat this. You want to eat this? Yes. What is this? Beans and corn. Excellent. This is fantastic. <laughs> All right. I hope our listeners now understand how to use these verbs with mofe. But before we go, I want our listeners to learn a little bit more verbs, okay? Um, I know we cannot do all the verbs today because if we are to do all the verbs using Yoruba language, it will take us forever. Take us months, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. So we're just going to look at another five verbs, okay? What is to read? Ka. Ka. Ka to read. I want to read. Mo fe ka iwe. Mo fe ka iwe. Mo fe ka iwe. I want to read. Yeah. What about to sleep? Soon. 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 To sleep. How do I say I want to sleep? Mo fe soon. Mo fe soon. Mo fe soon. I want to yeah. sleep. Okay, how do I say it lay? Shere, shere, shere to play. Yeah, I want to play. Mo fe shere, mo fe shere, mo fe shere. I want to play. How about to rest? See me, see me, see me to rest. I know that yeah. you probably want to see me right now, Ibitaya, but don't worry, we're nearly getting there. <laughs> so for now, we need to work. How do I say yes, to work? To work. Shishé. Shishé. Shishé to work. Yeah. I want to work. Mofe shishé. Mofe shishé. Mofe shishé, I want to work. Do you want to work though, Ibitaya? Are you sure you want to work? Oh yeah, that's very true. Everybody wants to share to have money. So yeah, let's do the share now. But this is fantastic. Thank you so much for this lesson. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you everyone for listening to today's lesson. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Vitaya, for being here with me. So so as I said earlier, if you want to get in touch with Ibitayo, you can contact him on his IG, Learn Yoruba Easily. The link to his IG account is in the show detail. That's it from Manila today, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you again soon. Udabo! Udabo.